Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallic chemistry from principles to applications. In our previous lecture, we were talking about transition metal alkyne complexes and these complexes have transition metal bonded to C carbon containing SP hybridized. or can be referred to as C C S P in terms of hybridization. As a result, these complexes are very basic highly reactive undergoes hydrolysis and also polymeric in nature. And these mainly are observed for low valent, electron rich, lit transition metals like copper one, silver one, and gold one. In terms of their polymeric nature they attain stabilization because of this polymerization and that can be illustrated as below. For example, if it is a metal acetylide then that metal can interact with another metal through its pi cloud. Now, this pi cloud can interact with another metal acetylide moiety. that can also interact with another metal acetylide moiety and that in turn can interact with the metal. So, this is how they acquire polymeric nature. And this framework is dissociated when treated when treated with ligands like PPH3 giving compounds like CR type from this polymeric nature.
by treatment with PPH3. So, with that in the background, we are going to discuss some more on the stability and reactivity of this transition metal alkyne complexes and also look into some of the preparative methods available for preparing these transition metal alkyne complexes in today's lecture. So, with regard to this kind of interactions that we have been talking about, one was the interactions with metals being ligand to transition metal sigma interaction as well as transition metal to ligand pi interactions and these kind of sigma acceptor and pi donor synergism is weak in case of late transition metals like gold 1, copper 1, silver 1 and as a consequence preparation of binary gold carbonyl complexes is difficult. So, what it shows that this synergism is required for stabilizing this type of complexes, but they are not too strong, they are weak to the extent that this synergy, synergism fail to stabilize binary gold carbonyl complexes. This is a very interesting observation in the fact that this late transition metal like gold can stabilize acetylide moiety, but find it difficult to stabilize carbonyl moiety because of the fact that this synergism pi acceptor and sigma donor synergism that stabilize this kind of interaction is kind of weak in nature for late transition metal gold 1 complexes. Hence, these transition metal acetylide complexes are usually prepared as heteroleptic complexes uh, using other co-ligands. And one of the most common method is the one that uses oxidative addition of an acetylide halide bond on a blue valent metal center. For example, the reaction of palladium tetraphosphine palladium 0 complex plus C x where the C x bond is oxidatively added on the palladium 0 center eliminating triphenylphosphine to give
this trans complex where x equals chlorine bromine iodine here the oxygen state of palladium after oxidative addition has gone on to become palladium 2 and this being a square planar complex this is a 16 valence electron complex of palladium and this reaction is a convenient way of preparing heteroleptic palladium acetylate complex where the palladium acetylate moiety has been stabilized along with other co-ligands in making a monomeric complex of the type shown over here. Apart from oxidative addition, nucleophilic substitution also can be successfully used for preparing this acetylate type of complexes. For example, the reaction of CP iodine dicarbonyl iodide plus trimethyl tin acetylide of the type shown over here reacting in presence of this acetonitrile palladium chloride and eliminating trimethyl tinidide results in this iron acetylite complex that in presence of butyl lithium eliminates butane giving this lithiated complex which here the hydrogen has been replaced by lithium by treatment with butyl lithium. Now this lithiated complex reacts with CP tricarbonyl molybdenum chloride eliminating lithium chloride to give this heterobimetallic complex. And these kind of heterobiometallic complexes containing linear uh, bridges as special are 
are important in material chemistry nonlinear optic applications one d electrical conductor artificial light, light harvesting chromophores and etc. So, what we see that this is a very powerful technique for making nonlinear compounds for nonlinear uh, optics applications for electrical conductor, artificial light har harvesting chromophore so on and so forth by using this nucleophilic substitution reaction where iron dicarbonyl was reacted with this acetylate compound of tin first making the iron acetylate complex uh, which was uh, then uh, deprotonated using beta lithium and the lithiated analog reacting with molybdenum complex to give this uh, hetero bimetallic uh, complexes uh, containing linear acetylate bridge which has so such uh, uh, important uh, applications. So, with this uh, we will uh, draw conclusion on our discussion of transition metal alkyne complexes which was transition metal bound to a carbon center having sp hybridized and then we move on to a very exciting chemistry uh, which is transition metal carbene complexes. Transition metal carbene complexes are of interest in the contemporary times where transition metal is bound to a sp 2 center. and also is multiply bonded uh, uh, with the carbon. So, these contains uh, uh, two kinds of bonds the transition metal makes with the uh, sp2 carbon. In transition metal, metal aryl complexes there was no multiple uh, bonding occurring between transition metal and the CSP2 center of the transition metal aryl, but in the carbonic case there is a uh, metal ligand multiple bonding occurring in transition metal carbene complexes and hence they are of uh, uh, importance. So, this transition metal carbene complexes contain metal carbon double bonds and they can be classified into two types. One is Fischer carbenes and the other is Schrock carbene. It is important to note that this chemistry is extremely important and also is of contemporary interest with the last Nobel Prize given in olefin metathesis as late as 2010. Olefin metathesis was given conferred Nobel Prize in 2010 which involves this transition metal carbon chemistry. which relates uh, to this chemistry and this was given uh, very recently. Now, between the type of carbene complexes that one encounters, one is called Fischer carbene and the other is called Schrock carbene. The difference being that in Fischer carbene, the metal center is in low oxidation state.
and uh, the carbon has a heteroatom atom is present on carbonic carbon now with regard to the stroke carbon the metal is in high oxidation state and there is no heteroatom. So, carbon have carbonic carbon have has carbon or hydrogen as substituents. And when there is no heteroatom direct, directly bound to the carbonic car carbon, these are called alkylidine complex. In this case, these are called alkylidine. Now, this carbon chem uh, chemistry is important from the fact that carbene by itself are very unstable molecules and hence they are highly reactive and very difficult to isolate, synthesize or utilize for any chemical reaction. Now, it turns out that carbene when binds to metal in terms of transition metal carbene complexes which can be Fischer type as well as rock types, they become organometallic species and when they are organometallic in nature and these organometallic compounds have very high reactivity uh, too and have very different uh, catalytic applications and these are unique for this kind of complexes and have been exploited uh, to its fullest score. So, from the catalysis point of view this metal carbon complexes are very prominent and they are being investigated and studied in great detail and from where their importance or significance arise. So, let me uh, uh, now discuss in more details about these two carbene uh, compounds beginning with the preparation of these complexes. The first carbene was prepared by Fischer uh, obviously then this is the Fischer carbene and was obtained by uh, addition of lethyl alkyl alkyls to metal carbonyls. to a metal carbonyl bond. The re, uh, uh, specifically, the reaction of tungsten hexacarbonyl with lithium alkyl in diethyl ether gave the following compound and which when treated with C H 3 O 3 O BF4, this is a reagent that produces methyl cation to alkylate this oxygen gave the following carbene compound. Since this carbene was prepared by Fischer way back in 1964 
this is called Fischer carbene or this kind of compound. The hallmark of Fischer carbene is the low oxidation state of metal and heteroatom substituent. on carbonic carbon. So, over here this is the heteroatom substituent on carbonic carbon. Now, uh, this uh, strategy exploits the fact that when the, car uh, the carbonyl is bound to tungsten a uh, metal the way it is shown over here, the carbon center becomes slightly activated in terms of becomes positively charged and favoring a nucleophilic attack. In coordinated CO favors nucleophilic attack. which has been achieved in this. So, with this I would draw the conclusion for today's uh, main uh, points that have been discussed in the lecture. We have started off with transition metal alkyne complexes looked into various synthetic uh, methods available for transition metal alkyne complexes particularly that of oxidative addition to low valent compounds as well as nucleophilic uh, substitution whereby uh, 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 hetero bimetallic transition metal alkyne complexes were prepared. These transition metal alkyne complexes are, are complexes of transition metal with carbon which is a species a hybridized and uh, these compounds have lot of applications particularly the linear uh, chain acetylide moieties in various uh, kind of electronic devices optoelectronic uh, purposes and with that uh, we we concluded our discussion on transition metal alkyne complexes in the last uh, check, uh, lecture uh, in, and then moved on to transition metal carbene complexes. Uh, these are transition metal bound to sp2 uh, carbon and we have looked into various kinds of tran uh, transition metal carbene complexes that occur mainly the uh, Fischer and Schrock type carbene complexes. Uh, uh, these carbon complexes signify metal ligand multiple bonding present between the metal and the carbonic center. For Fischer carbenes, the hallmark is the, uh, the metal should be in the low oxidation state uh, and there be a heteroatom substituents on the carbonic center, whereas for that of the Schrock uh, carbenes, the metal center uh, is on higher high oxidation state and there is no heteroatom substituents on the carbonic uh, carbon, it has only carbon and another hydrogen as the substituents. With that we have looked into the first method available for preparation of Fischer carbon in this lecture and that was the reaction of nucleophilic attack by uh, lithium reagent, lithium and kin reagent onto a tra uh, transition uh, tungsten hexacarbonyl compound where the nucleophile attacks uh, onto the coordinated carbonyl compound uh, uh, followed by uh, treatment with methyl plus uh, uh, source which results in the uh, Fischer uh, carbene uh, complex uh, of tungsten. So, with that we conclude uh, today's lecture and I look forward to being in the next lecture where we are going to discuss transition metal carbene complexes in more details particular, particularly from the uh, point of their synthesis, reactivity and uh, property uh, type applications. Till then I thank you for being with me in this lecture and I look forward to being with you in the next lecture. Goodbye.